Up the chair shot. Get it right. Yo, Vic. Yo, Vic. Welcome back, Wrestle Nerds, to another episode of Heels, Pops, and Backshot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, Welcome man, back, always. Wrestle always. Nerds. The mental this is socio. Vic Villain. Let's see who's making their way to the ring. Pretty chubby flaco. Dímelo, mi gente. JP Savage, you're welcome. Old school. Mischief, you heard? Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots. We thank you for being with us this week, and you know we continue to be your highlight of the week. And with that said, we got a special surprise for you, man. We got to treat you, we going to treat you for good folks to a special guest, our boy, the wrestling voice of CBS Sports on Monday, 6 to 7 p.m., our boy Kuda. Talk to him a minute, Kuda. Yes. How you been, man? How you yeah, been? Welcome buddy. Back. Welcome back. Well, I'm glad. Somebody has to be the whitest guy here. <laughs> <laughs> we need that sometimes. White's all right, brother. Don't worry about White's it. White's all right. All right. All right. <laughs> once it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. <laughs> As long as it's not me. The wow. That's crazy. I never thought about it like that. Mm-hmm. Kuda, yeah, man, yeah. how you been, man? You, you got some stuff going on out here, man. You're very busy, man. Talk to him for a minute, man. Yeah, I recorded a show uh, earlier this week. Next Monday, I'll be back on CBS Radio, 6 p.m. on Monday. Breakdown, Money in the Bank. I'm thankful I have that much material. And more than likely, one of the crazier main events we'll see this year, hopefully. Not to mention my whole network, Turnbuckle Topics. Check everybody out. We do good stuff. They definitely oh, nice. do. They got good they shit. Good shit. Good, good, good shit. Good, 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 good shit. shit. <laughs> and apparently, good shit. this week has had some good shit as well, man. Let's just get right into it, guys. Let's let's, let's cut some fat. Let's fucking wait, wait, hit the bro. You, you, you're really not going to talk about the fact that you had PCF trying to hijack your show, bro? Yo, what's up with you, PCF? You about to get, think, you know, shanked up over here, bro. I've been I've been watching too much uh, Cinemax, bro. Late <laughs> night Cinemax. <laughs> after dark. Hey. No, no. Watching. I don't have to wait till after dark. It's 6 o'clock p.m. afternoon, Eastern time, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Started early. He definitely Monday, through, money Monday, through, Monday, through, shit. Monday through Saturday, because Sunday I don't go to church. Ooh, that's a big, hey, you're, uh, that's a big you're a day study. beater? That's weird. You're, you're a weird <laughs> yeah. guy. That's going to shift us right into another person's busy schedule. Uh, one man, <laughs> Becky Lynch, right? <laughs> Apparently, she's the been man. for Marvel uh, roles. Talk to me about that, old school. I mean, so so we just saw her do her little cameo for Billions on Showtime. Uh, and now the rumors are swirling that Mother she's going to be Fulker, let me in. <laughs> she she did the job. She did the job. It was so good. It was so good. It worked. And and now there's rumors of her going into the MCU and I'm trying to figure out who she's going to be outside of Jean Grey. I mean, uh she make a great oh, movie. Uh, uh Jean Grey. Jean Grey. Why? Is it cuz she's a redhead? Maybe. So yeah, <laughs> she's, just Jean she's a hot redhead. I, either that or Mary Jane, but Mary Jane doesn't have an Irish accent, so I don't it's from Marvel, right? Redheads. Kuda, who do you think? What it's from Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know enough about Marvel to to comment. I, I don't know. Uh, I I just say good for her. Good for her to go in the mainstream. She's she's still the hottest yeah. property in wrestling today. So good Facts. for her. Facts. I'm gonna Facts. give you a hot take. You know who she's gonna be? Fucking Black Widow. They scrap Scarlett Johansson. This so let's put a real arse kicker in there. I well, wouldn't mind. Realistic. the re- I wouldn't mind her replacing Scarlet, yo. But that's not realistic. She's probably going to be rogue. <laughs> <laughs> that's more realistic. I'm going to do a curveball man hard, yo. That's too realistic. Too it was realistic. a sinker. It was a, it's a hard left. It's a hard left. <laughs> Let's quickly take a hard left ourselves, man. Hey, uh, hey the because... savage just loses a lot to unpack, baby. <laughs> yo, no nice A-W. things. Hold on. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Damn. No <laughs> nice. We getting violent early, Kuda. Look at this. 
Look at this fucking hoodie. Isn't it delicious? It is so beautiful. Yummy. Right? Beautiful. There's no nice things. You hey, hey Mischief, where you get that? Where you get that from? At our shop. What? Haven't you heard? Whoa. I just said it. All right. So you can get it at our shop at heelspopschairshots.com slash shop. Check it out. You were How saying is it something slash? about something? Shop. shop. You know, the bad guys. <laughs> but yeah, man, so. AEW gets fined this week. Ten grand. Ten <laughs> grand. Pretty chubby. You got ten grand to spot these guys? Hell no. I don't even have ten dollars in my check-in account. Shit. Kuda, what do you think? Kuda, what's yeah. good, man? Well, as a resident of Maryland, first of all, <laughs> My, yeah. state is, my state is no fun, so let's <laughs> confirm that. But second of all, that match deserved to get fined ten grand, not for violence, but just because of the match. It was, I was there. It was not good. <laughs> Being live didn't make it better. So as far as I'm concerned, they earned it. <laughs> <laughs> good for that. Check world earned it. <laughs> um, to be honest, though. I, so what is it? A WCW guy snitch mischief that you said? Oh man, uh, Chris, some Chris Cruz, something like that. Uh, All right, right, so, I, I so forgot his name. The, the thing is, how does this work now? Cause yo, we got so much evidence of these matches getting, getting so violent everywhere, and every state has their own laws, right? Like, so what are we doing here? Like, do they not watch the footage that's recorded already and find them anyway? I, I, I mean, if Christopher you, if my, Cruz. Sorry, Christopher <laughs> Cruz. Christopher Cruz. Well, I, I don't know, man. I just say if if you want to run a match like that, go to a state where they won't come down on you for it. That's all. You know, don't That's don't come facts. So yeah, come to Jersey. To me, come like to Jersey. every state is gonna like freaking has its own. It's like you can't do this, you can't do that. It's like why do you, why even have a show if you're gonna get fined, man? Yeah, everyone's gonna book the shit out of Montana. <laughs> Montana <laughs> WrestleMania Hardcore wrestling state. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> oh baby. Yo. Hardcore is right. And hardcore it got on social media this week. Chico. <laughs> old school. Razor Ramon Scott Hall <laughs> deletes his Twitter, man. Tell me about it. What's going on here? Jesus Christ. So, you know, Scott's been through some stuff in his life. Um, Session Moth Martino, who's a standout now in That's ROH. That's putting it lightly, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> hey, you know, I I quickly glanced at the documentary. I don't know how it actually turned out, but um, you know, Scott Hall, things have happened. Okay. Things have happened. Scott Hall thing. He, he might have killed a guy or something. <laughs> Maybe. We'll we'll, we'll we'll wait for his dark side. Uh, <laughs> dark, dark side of the ring documentary. Right. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, <laughs> DVR set 2024. That's, that's 20 exactly. <laughs> uh, but but uh, one of the fans reached out to Session Moth and was asking her about Scott Hall, and she happened to bring up the fact that on Twitter he had mentioned that he would hook her up with uh, uh, <laughs> an implant job, and and Scott wow. replied back that she needed a uh, a personality transplant because she's a dumb bitch. Oh, you oh. dumb bitch. He called her a dumb bitch, yo. And so wait, so wait, so he won. So he wins and then he deletes his account. Why does he get to delete the account? She's the one that lost. Slammed him. <laughs> Kuda, you a Scott Hall fan? Oh, uh, hey, yo. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I, I mean, look, as far as I'm concerned, if he wants to delete his account over whatever the hell this was fine uh, i don't know uh wrestling twitter is one of the worst places in the world right now so yeah. i don't i don't really blame him but yeah it was a yes. weird situation no doubt, no doubt. twitter's garbage and we love it we love it <laughs> amazing it's the dumpster fire we can't turn away from <laughs> Fucking yeah, yeah. love it sure. speaking of dumpster fire Kuda, mm. how did we feel about the Revolt's new gimmicks that were um, given out, man? Why? Well, that's your segue? I, yeah, because <laughs> that was so terrible, like the segue. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. The only thing I've seen out of them is their, when they went on Talk is Jericho, and they could not have been more professional about it. They didn't bitch about anything. There was no complaining about it. It was very refreshing to see that as compared to the regular AEW style, uh, but I I don't know. I mean, it's not. I don't. 
I don't know. It's extreme is not always better. So it's, I think that was the idea. Let's just make it so crazy. Even if people don't like it, it sounds crazy. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, give them a good yeah. name. <laughs> that was definitely one we were all waiting for. At least that episode of Talk is Jericho. Pretty chubby. Um, I think they gave us a list, right? Uh, of who they were wanted to face in that. So, so yes. Yeah, so, uh, what is it? Uh, Cash Wheeler. He mentioned a couple of tag teams that he wants to wrestle. Um, he mentioned God, Gorillas of Destiny. He okay. mentioned. Uh, they mentioned Finn Juice. They mentioned the North from Impact, and of course, they mentioned the. Uh, I said on the revolt and G.O.D. in Japan. I know you're a big Japan fan. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see it so I can see G.O.D. walk all the hell over. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't, I'm not, I, I, I was a decent enough revival fan. I'm not really too crazy about the revolt concept. So wherever they go, they go. They're good enough where they'll hang around. But this overinflated concept of them being a division changer for whatever company they go to. I, I just don't think it's realistic. Okay. Old school likes this... to think they go, they fit, they make a perfect fit in, um, in NWA. Uh, how are we feeling about that? Damn. Kuda said they selling snake oil out here. They just, <laughs> they just doing the carny thing and just selling the gimmick. They're like, no, no, that's the gimmick guy. Uh, gimmick is that I'm that really good. Shit too? Speaking of selling the gimmick, shit? listen, shit and get no it, nice right? Like, <laughs> I, I think, uh, I think they'll work well in the NWA just because, I mean, they're, and I mean this in the utmost respect. They're, they're an Ole and uh, not an Ole. Well, actually, they are Arn and Ole gimmick, as much as they are a Tully and Arn gimmick. I feel that. I feel that. But speaking of nice. gimmicks, um, I'm going to segue into Liv Morgan's gimmick uh, or knack thereof. What, she seems to have lost herself this past week on Raw. But, Damn! Uh, but that's, that's, so that's what happens. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that's what happens when you go up against Charlotte? Well, she's she here's the, here's the lost herself. The tunnel now. She won a WrestleMania match. Now she lost herself. Here's the light at the end of the tunnel. The she's NXT putting her over at the end. She's given her credit in this interview. Um, how do we feel about Liv bouncing back? Do you even want? Do you guys want to see Liv change it up at this point? Liv's got to do something, bro. What is this? I forgot my lines bullshit that we're still on. Like, it it sounds like like she literally doesn't know what she's doing on that stage, which makes me feel like, what the fuck am I doing looking at this? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, it was cool. I was ready for a thing, and then the thing was kind of weird because it was like on some lesbian marriage with with Lana and all that other weird shit. And then like she kind of circled back to whatever this is. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is it? I don't like. It is literally a, a state of change. That's what we're watching. She is a caterpillar. She is a, a constant flux. Jersey is in the house. I don't want to hear. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't want to see that. No more Jersey. Well, well, now now you know why she had a blue tongue in the riot squad, and she never said not one word. It all makes sense. <laughs> Does it? Doesn't it? Esa tipo yeah. necesita agua, she need water. <laughs> she should have just came back as Sister Abigail, man. They fucked that up. Yeah, she should have. She should have. She should have done something with that. It looks they, so true. They dropped the ball on that one for sure. Well, I, I mean, with um, with her current gimmick, she's one makeup change away from sliding right into it anyway. Oh, really? That's true. <laughs> that is true. That, that yeah, about a lot of things in her life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, yo! Let nice horny! Things. <laughs> JP out there wilding, yo. What you doing down there? Yo, getting Speaking dirty. Speaking of no nice things, Dark Side of the Ring released another episode with Ooh. no nice things at all. JP, talk to me about Dark Side this past week, man. Uh, dark side of the ring. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. After the beginning of the season and I saw the upcoming episodes, I'm like, I don't even know about these stories. I'm like, eh, I wasn't as enthusiastic. But boy, boy, was I wrong. Because you're learning oh about things, things that, that happen in the wrestling industry that I myself did not know about. Kuna, do you, do you remember UWF? No, I do not. 
I got to be honest. I never heard of that shit. No, <laughs> I, I've I've heard of it. I don't I don't personally recall it, but I've heard of it. Yeah. I, I at least didn't remember they had they were able. Uh, Herb Abrams, who's a boy, is a wild a wild boy, right? He was the creator of UWF, and he was able to get like some top talent up to the product. Man, Andre the Giant, Cactus Jack, uh, Mr. Wonderful. He had uh, Jimmy Snooker. Uh, <laughs> uh, a whole bunch of talent that actually crossed over. Uh, Bob Orton Senior was in there at some point, and yo, it just flopped. But it get, it takes you through his story, uh, far and uh, and and unfortunately, as they say in the show. He died with doing what he loved. Coke and hookers. Hey. <laughs> Coke I mean, hookers. But, you know, if you have not seen Dark Side of the Ring, there's no fucking excuse. There's a quarantine out. Fucking turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Record it. No, it, it's uh, it's phenomenal, phenomenal journalism. Um, And every week, is uh, it's awesome. Even the After Dark talk show, that's just pretty cool, too. Because you have some of the people that were in the episode actually come and speak a little bit more in depth on the on the actual show. It's like that talking dead bullshit, right? Like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah buddy. Um I just is that waiting show? for that is... Owen. I'm waiting for that Owen, yo. That's all I'm saying. I think yo, I think we're nice? all waiting for that Owen Hart. That Happy nice? birthday, Hart? Owen Hart. Happy birthday, brother. That's coming soon, man. Oh, that's uh, his birthday today, right? His birthday today. Wow. Yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. He will be fifty uh fifty five? Jesus. So, uh, in 55. his 50s, yeah. I, I forgot how old. Yeah. Oh, no, so, man. other than that, what was bumping on this week's television, guys? What was on Raw? How good was it? Did we pop it on? Raw, we got SmackDown. And before we go any further, I think... Good Wednesday. It was a good Wednesday. I, I think, yeah, it was also a good Wednesday. But it was SmackDown really good, good has a star that we haven't seen much of. In quite some time. And reasonably so. The guy has immune deficiencies that would allow him to get or be more susceptible to any Are you talking about the viruses. Maharaja? No, I'm talking about Roman motherfucking Reigns if you let me get there. <laughs> I, Damn. Spoiler alert. Pussy dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I always forget and then I don't watch. All right, so Puse dies, and Roman Reigns hasn't been around, and apparently he's getting edited out of things. Yes, yes. So I wanted to just not say shit and let Kuda have his moment, because as soon as like this shit was bubbling on Twitter, Kuda's like, Gil's like, yo, I want to go on your show. I gotta talk about this shit. You gotta let loose right now. Right now. <laughs> He's like, I gotta talk this shit. And I'm I, like, whoa, whoa. I... We got like three more days. Hold on. So <laughs> go, Kuda, go ape shit. <laughs> what is happening? Is Roman Reigns getting erased from history, or is this a work? What's going on? I I think this is in a in a wrestling concept, it's a work. But as far as how fans are considered, it is just a fucking ridiculous overreaction like they they edit guys out all the time i mean um, effectively on the wwe network chris jericho doesn't exist i mean it's it's what they do it's not there's nothing new here there's nothing i i see all these people freaking out i see the roman reigns stands losing their mind over he's not in a video anymore he hasn't been on tv yeah the guy is fighting leukemia there is a deadly virus out Stay home. We don't Bags. need you here. He will be fine. Come back whenever. You can put him wherever you want. It's I, I, there's no issue here to me. I don't. I just the the way people were freaking about this amazed me because it it wasn't well. Let's see what happens. It was he's fired, isn't he? No. <laughs> I, I no no. I, I didn't think that was the reaction. I thought it was more like Vince is really pissed off and petty, petty and he yes. wants to like. Like, hey, forget that guy. He doesn't exist, right? Here, and Chris like, Benoit. Most, yo, I mean, yes, essentially, right? So most of this comes on the heels of, like, uh, WrestleMania, fuck, where uh, Seth Rollins cashed in on Brock and Roman. WrestleMania 32, 
35? I forget. 31, 31. 31. 31. Thank you. So he runs in, he cashes in. But in all the clips, like Roman Reigns is nowhere to be found. Like if you just watched the video, it's Seth Rollins running to the ring where Brock Lesnar's on the floor. Because he fell. And he was then the champion. Right? So, like, it's a weird way to edit a cash-in to make Seth Rollins and self, uh, uh, Seth Rollins look good and to sell money in the bank and to sell how important it is. It was a weird way to do it. So, do you, you, there's no part of you, Gil, that believes that there's pettiness involved? Oh, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's pettiness involved. I just don't think it's a reason to freak out over it. I mean, v- Vince has always been a petty son of a bitch. He'll, he'll write you out for no reason. <laughs> Like, I, I have I have no issues there. So, I mean, th- th- there's a great quote that I think defines Vince McMahon, which is, you can portray me as a rich bastard in the press all you want, as long as I stay rich. I think that's pretty much his philosophy. So, he don't care what you think. If he wants to write you out, he's going to write you out. Same way he pushed Roman to the top, he'll, he'll write him out if he wants to. I don't think he's doing that, at least not 100%. But I agree. Right. It was weird to see him just <laughs> clipped out like that. It was it was really weird. And then also another like weird nuance to this is that um, Fox is airing like a special with Roman Reigns. No WWE branding on the on the advertisement at all. Really? I thought it was weird. It, it had the style of writing of SmackDown, like Fox and whatever and Roman Reigns. No WWE logo anywhere. No SmackDown logo anywhere. It was. Again, just weird little observations, right? Like things to be like, mm-hmm. hmm, whatever. That's you know that's a weird thing to element, look at. The one element we're forgetting about that's leading to all of this. We're here fucking stuck in the quarantine. Everybody has too much time to overthink shit. <laughs> I think that's exactly <laughs> they have the time to make those here. observations. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody, they, everybody's they feelings get hurt. Walk before they they would have done this shit six months ago. Would have never noticed. <laughs> Don't touch anything, but go walk around the block. And then tweet. Six months. Right. Damn, I was like, yo, six months ago, were we doing this shit six months ago? How long has this been happening? <laughs> I've been quarantined for what? The it's last been three days? I don't even know. What day is it? I've been speaking into this microphone nonstop for like 48 hours, so I don't know if the show's even live. Well, you haven't missed much on Raw and SmackDown. Bunch of qualifiers this week. We got set up for Money in the Bank. I did like um, the build for the... Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. I'm kind of like, um, I'm bo- I'm I'm at ends here. I don't know, Kuda, who you like going into that little that little main event right there? Seth. No, I, it's too early for for Drew to drop his title at this point. You think uh, so? Yeah, think so? Okay. it's it's a it's a little too soon. And I I like the Monday Night Messiah gimmick. So it's also one of those gimmicks that where if he loses, you it won't it doesn't have to kill it necessarily. Right, right, right. right so right. they could they could keep it going. So. You know, and also the other factor is it's unfortunate that Kevin Owens got hurt at WrestleMania because yeah. he, it might be Wasn't Kevin that he's hurt? Okay. going against Drew. Uh, Whose birthday was this week as well? Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, he does share a close birthday with Drew. I, I saw it. Like, um, one last thing. One last thing about Roman that I didn't that, that I just remembered. All right. The last part of this, and I think me and JP were talking about that before the show started, was. Roman Reigns not being on air is actually kind of genius. Let's forget that he exists. All right? Remember that he's supposed to be the face of the company for a second and how ill-received it was and nobody wanted him? Having him disappear, especially when there's no crowds, especially when there's nobody but a boo or cheer or whatever, let him be home. Let him do his thing because he shouldn't be out there anyway. You don't need hands things- to return. When he comes back and the crowds come back and they're hot for wrestling, that's a name that'll come out to some fucking pop. And we haven't, yo, let's be, let's, let's think about this. Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, Rock, top three pops in all of wrestling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I it's It's been that. a while since we've had like the top pop and you know what I mean? Like, like well, that been, moment when, we can't win Slammies every year, every year, man. Like, <laughs> nah, but there, there's got to be like that that moment. Yeah, right. Why not, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I want it. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I hear you though. I that would that would create a moment. And I think sometimes we forget like wrestling is supposed to be like about moments, right? Creating like these little mm-hmm. moments that kind of stick with you forever. Uh Andre the Giant being slammed by Hulk Hogan, right? That was a moment, right? The Crimson Mask was a moment. They give you like these little pictures that stick with you forever. You can always hear the picture of mankind coming off the hell in a cell. Yeah. Right, by right. God, right? It was a moment that you'll always fucking hear when you see. And so, like, wrestling is like that. And we haven't had that in quite some time. Just and I'll saying. give you that moment. I'll give you that moment. Whoa, whoa, relax, all right? I'm married, guy. <laughs> what it'll take is Roman disappearing, as Mischief was saying, and The Rock coming down the line and calling him out, saying oh, he's no. a disrespect to the family. If we're performing, he should be here performing. If Rock comes back, I'm cheering Book for Rock, it. and then that kills all of Roman Reigns' steam. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. A, a heel that. Rock. A heel nah, Rock. Don't do that. No, because yes, people love do. heel Rock, bro. People love heel Rock. And he'll get cheered, and Roman will get He's booed because going against heel Rock. Not if they do it now during quarantine. Nobody's going to cheer. No, not during quarantine. Roman Reigns can't do it. <laughs> he can't be there. What? He can't right, be there. Right, we're back, all, we're back to square one again. <laughs> We're back this at guy, the time, bro. You love riding these carousels. I'm just saying, man. Or, or what about a what about a world champ uh, Baron Corbin, and then all of a sudden you hear Already Roman. Kuda, how do you feel about a world champ Baron Corbin? World tramp, yeah. He's world a world tramp. tramp. A, a, a world tramp Baron Corbin. Yeah, I could be down for that. I don't know about world you, champ. You guys been watching uh, too much Cinemax, damn it. Cinemax. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, always oh. been more of a Showtime guy, but uh, oh. there's one what, guy that they they're planning on giving a push here. Uh, Brandon Vick is making some rumored noise. Uh, they got big plan, big plans for him. Pretty chubby. How you feel about this Brandon Vick? He looks like a big mofo. I oh. will say that. Dude's like okay. what, like six five, two seventy? Tell me how oh, you really see that. Yeah, Brandon uh, Vick. Brandon Vink. Brandon Vink. Uh, he teamed with Shay Thorn to face uh, Ricochet and um and uh, who was it? Cedric. Cedric Alexander, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I just dropped my mic. So yeah, they're giving him a push. Oh, um, Cedric lost, MVP. right? Fucking uh, Cedric and uh and um Ricochet, Ricochet, Ricochet. lost. Yeah, they yeah lost. Ricochet. what the fuck? What was that? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? What was that? Why have Cedric and, and Ricochet lose? Because well, I think that Vince McMahon up. just found his new jobbers. That's what it is. <laughs> Kuda, why? Why? I was so into said Ricochet. <laughs> Ricochet, I, wow. I, I, I mean, I, I think the reason they took it is they, they actually want to try to give the impression that if new talent shows up, they're going to use them because that doesn't happen uh, but as often as they would like it to. And they have enough airtime on national television where they can do this with talent like this. They're not like AEW where they have them debut on YouTube and lose. So <laughs> it, it's it, it's different. But it's a really competitive match, Kuda. Oh, no, I, I agree 100%. I mean, this also finally gives the tag team division a sense that it's a whole division again. Hmm. It's not just the guys with the titles versus somebody. It actually gives the sense that there's a whole division again. So Okay. Why not? No doubt, no doubt. Uh, Kuda, how'd you feel about NXT this week, man? Fool. Uh, it, I, I think NXT pretty much had a home run this week. They did very well for themselves. Well, well uh, Killer Cross was incredible. Love the entrance. Love the visual. Uh, I, you know, I, I actually like the fact they just had him go up against Leon Ruff and run through him in 18 seconds. That was that was a good call. Uh, I think. Dream and Cole certainly put on a main event worthy one. And yes. I please tell me the rest of you are as interested in Dexter Loomis as myself. Yo, so oh my God. God. Oh, so cool. interesting. I'm what like, is oh. he gonna do? <laughs> well, is it is it safe to say that we're gonna see a new feud between the Velveteen Dream and Dexter Loomis? Is this something building up there? Well, it's I, come I, to see help I see him working with anybody right now. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like they're going with him. And those gloves, man, what the heck? Nah, he's Perfect just trying to be timing. safe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Perfect, Bad Bunny been wearing a mask for years, bro. For oh. years. <laughs> Finn Balor that's that's the bar? Yo. Like, that's the fucking bar, Bad Bunny? That's what we're doing? 
<laughs> no, Loomis is with the gloves. Bad Bunny's had the mask for years. That's all. <laughs> nah, but Loomis, the son is special there, man. Give, give, gives me Randy Orton vibes, right? Okay. The way he moves around in the ring, man. I'm looking forward to what's happening to him. Gargano had a banger, too. Uh, the yes. Show. Dominic Dajakovic. Yes, sir. Yo, bless I, you. Bless I you, still JP. Won't try. So, <laughs> I, I so, still won't try. I love that you, do you think NXT hit the home run? I got to ask you, Kuda. Uh, this Cody and Lance Archer match for AEW, this build, man. Talk to me about Cody, and he, he's been on TV. How do you like the way he's been steering this shit, man? I mean, he knows his audience. I'll give him that. Uh, he's he, he's certainly more inclined to to give what the public wants than you'll watch our product and like and and like what we give you. So that can work for you. They're pushing Lance Archer really hard. Uh, good for him. He's more than earned it uh, based on everything he's done. But I I don't know. There are times where it's kind of I'm watching and I'm going, yeah, you're giving me everything I want. Great. But where's your ability to sort of swerve me? It's not it's not really there. They pull the curtain back a little too far sometimes. Yeah, it's it, it, it's I guess patience is a virtue, right? No, uh, but like I see what you're saying. Like they've, it's almost like they can't. They've done so well uh, to me, anyway. They've done so well at what they are doing that you're almost like, now what? Like where can we go from here? Because it's a really good product. I don't know, man. I'm highly fucking entertained by it. I love anything Jake the Snake Robert does, even the bad stuff, and <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. Right, um, Talk to me, Mischief, about Jake Roberts this week. Ooh. Yo. I love. He was about characters. to catch a charge. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Old the man snake sticks Roberts. slimy snake on Ebony Beauty. That came up on <laughs> Pornhub, which is weird. <laughs> wow. Um, what I'm saying is that <laughs> that was a moment, right? If you are a fan of AEW in the way that like, we were all. Fans. Oh, I hope Brandy's a fan of reptiles because she was intimately uh, getting to know one. Jake, though, but... man, Jake hates them. <laughs> Who? Jake, Jake Roberts, he hates that snake. Well, he used to hate that snake. Now that snake made him to. a lot of money. Yeah, you know. Money buys yeah. a lot of shit. Ask him. He'll tell you. <laughs> it just got a little weird for me when he straddled her. You know what I mean? That's where I got a little... Uh, I was like, Jake, don't do it. I'll do it. I, I did love that he looked like he was going to throw it into the crowd. I thought that yeah. was... Cool. He was like, ah, yeah, and everybody screamed and shit. They're like, yo, he might. He might, too. <laughs> chill. Dude, you oh, play man. too much. Kuda, what do you think? Oh, well, they, 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 so they, certainly I, pushed, uh, they certainly pushed a few envelopes, and I say good for them. I mean, I... Yes. You know, I, I, I quote the prophet Ferris Bueller, A, you can never go too far. Yes. Very true. Fucking Very genius. Phallic symbols are always great. Oh, man. So Nyla, Nyla Rose returned to action this week. Um, she cut a little promo there. I forgot she was champion. I so, forgot who she right, was. Right, right. And they kind of cut a promo reminding us that everybody forgot she was champion. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. So... I read this somewhere, and I had to bring it up to all of y'all. Kuda, thanks, I want, thanks for being here, especially because I want to ask you now. I saw somebody mention Nia Jax versus Nyla Rose and naming some comparisons and shit. How do we feel about if this match would, would ever take place, man? And, and what similarities do we see with these two women here? Well, that would be a known-for-being-unsafe worker versus someone who is more reliant on her size and her ability. So that would be very interesting. Uh, probably wouldn't be too entertained by it, personally. I got to be honest. Uh, the visual would be nice because it's two giant women. That would be right, a, right, right. I guess the- a, in a wrestling ring, that's a heck of a visual. But <laughs> I, just, I just don't. I just don't think it would really fly all that well. Uh, it would be more of a test of strength than a match. But yeah. I, and if Nia didn't go over, I would have questions. <laughs> I just, I gotta be honest. So, cause the AEW women's division is just bad. It's trash. Just bad. That shit it's is trash. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so hold on, hold on. I, I think, including their, their similar mic work. <laughs> oh, oh wow. 
So how do we fix the AEW women's division? Ooh. What do Get we do Get better stars. I don't Con- but I'll who's tell you how. Control now. out the lead. They look like that. Have off and turn it back on again. Um, <laughs> unplug it and then plug it, it back in. Yeah. Now you fix it. You sign Tessa Blanchard. Oh. Hey. She already did everything she can do yeah. in Impact, right? She's the she's the men's heavyweight champion. So, so here's my thing though. You can't just it's it's not gonna be one person. You need like a, a yeah. reboot of the entire roster. Yeah, maybe an attitude yes. or a culture change too. Uh, that could be it too. You never know. It could be anything here. But um, it's it looks like they're giving Britt Baker a little bit more polish these days too. So they they are trying. Just remember, there were a lot yeah. of releases. Which doesn't mean they're successful. <laughs> All right. So okay, JP, to your point, right? There have been a lot of releases. Give Sarah me a name. Logan. Ooh, Sarah Sarah. Logan. That's an, that's an interesting I see, name. I could see a Luke Harper, you know what I mean? Opportunity right there for her. Give her Why, another gimmick. Let her rock with her gimmick. No, she's, she's a, a dirty mountain woman, so she's got to work with Luke Harper. She's got to work with Brody. Mountain. I'm just saying it is an opportunity to, to, <laughs> to reconfigure your character, right? Does she go back to creative. crazy Mary uh, Dobson or, uh, hey, or something completely different? Ooh, I don't know. Right that's interesting. Kuda, right. how do you fix the AEW division with all the releases that have happened? Oof. Or do you sign someone else? Well, I that, that that's that's an interesting call. Uh, I I hear the Sarah Logan argument, although I believe Sarah may have been brought back because there was such a social media backlash to her getting fired. Uh, I don't think she got re-signed, but I think she oh, got no. brought back. So like oh, she okay. came back to that role, and I think she might have come back again, but I don't think she got signed. All right, well. I mean, Sarah would be interesting, but I mean, just because it's the name doesn't mean it's it's really going to fix anything. So, I mean, no, no one has been incorrect. I agree. You need a big star. You need to revamp the whole thing. It's it's a lot of work to fix this and just kind of forcing Britt Baker through. Don't really think that's the option either. So oh. I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not really not, not really 100 percent on how you fix this one. But as far as names that are out there. I say Diana Perrazzo because at least you know she can yes. wrestle and you can Jersey. develop her whatever she wants, but at least you know she'll put on a good match every time. Most deaf, most deaf. Facts, facts. Uh, AEW's main events saw Kenny Omega team up with, I believe it was Matt Hardy, and then they went against Le Champion. No, and, least, no, no. less sex, less sex less, guys. Yes. Less yes, sex gods. Yeah, less sex gods. Less right, sex right. gods. Hello, Don't you right the sex gods? Sex. Um, heels. Pops. Chair shots of the You week. stupid bitch. That's how you're going to cover the main event of AEW? Uh, Come on. It was a street fight. I, I mean, I saw, I've seen one, I've seen many. <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. That fin- the, the main event, I have to give it, listen, listen. I have to give it to NXT. That was a better main event just because seeing them in the stands in an empty arena reminded me too much of watching UWF on Dark Side of the Ring. <laughs> it was too soon. It was too soon. The only too thing soon. about that, fin- yo, uh, Sammy Guerrero was like tapping people with the garbage. He wanted yo, psych- that was horrible. That you was really to, bad. You pointed that out. Like, what are they doing? The only dope part about that main event was the ending. When they took that picture in the snapshot, oh, with that the fucking awesome. uh, title screen in the stadium, yeah. that was the moment. That oh, that oh. was worth it. We did forget one thing, one epic promo. Kuda, did you catch my MJF's promo this week? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I did. So it it sounds like it sounds like he's really hitting some critics here, or oh, he's just playing around. What what, what are we doing? Because he ain't no Piper. He ain't no rock. He ain't no whatever, the, whoever else he said he was. But he's coming back to sit on the throne. Well, there, there's no extra jab in MJF promos. And what, I, and what I mean by that is to compare him to, say, a rock or, or a piper or something is it would have a good body of a promo and then there would be a little jab. Like, for example, I was randomly watching a Raw from August leading up to SummerSlam in 2002. And that was when The Rock was talking to Triple H. And he's just like, well, you know, one thing The Rock is that you're not is WWE champion. So shut up, bitch. Like the little (laughs) 
Like, but it's there are little jabs in it. MJF doesn't do that. He just talks. He just stays with it. He very rarely uses bad language. He's very condescending without going after you directly. And when the crowd would get on him, he would go, hey, look, I'm talking, guys. I know it's real complicated. Like, that's so much worse than just insulting someone to their face. So he's very good at it. He's only 24. He'll get better. But, Jesus. yeah, that they, he, he did very well for himself. He, he gets better every time. Great. I can't wait to see him next week, man. Uh, I think that's a shooting for my heel of the week. Um, Mitch, if you want to kick it off, who's your heel of the week this week, man? It's always Chris Jericho. My <laughs> answer is <laughs> always Chris Jericho. It doesn't matter. He doesn't even have to be on TV. He was heel of the week, and that's it. <laughs> nah, um, just because he put the cone on his head, that's why I'm going to say he was heel of the week. <laughs> Mid-match, you're going to pick up the cone and put it on your head, you motherfucker? Like, this is how little this matters to you? <laughs> I, I, that, that's my choice. Fuck it. They're having fun out there. Pretty chubby. I give the heel of the week to Jake's snake for attacking Ooh. Randy Rhodes. The beautiful Randy Rhodes. Yes. Kuda, you got a heel of the week for us this week? Yeah, I'm going to get my heel of the week to Charlotte Flair. Uh, I think she handled Liv Morgan pretty well. I think uh, she, she she always knows how to talk the right way. And just her ability to roll her eyes every time somebody brings up her last name or something. Or nobody Daddy, that. Yeah. Like, and honestly, uh, her facing all the NXT talent, man, is really like putting them up, too. Like, yeah. they don't look weak against her. It's putting up quality matches, man. She's lift up. She's lifting that brand up. That's exactly part of the plan. Uh, well, since you fuckers said all the heels possibly that we could have seen this week, right. I'm gonna go with Brody Lee. Okay. Ooh. Brody Lee okay, going Brody after John Lee. Moxley, rehashing some old feuds, right? Two wow. men, three different gimmicks. Let's see how this match goes. <laughs> hey, yes. All, to be honest, all I could see in that ring was a Wyatt Shield uh like moment there from back yeah, in the yeah. day. And yeah, did they ever yeah. see each other in singles competition? They Probably did for the I, for the icy title, I think. For the icy title, I think you're right. Old school. Uh, Who pissed you off this week? I don't know if I can call it like getting pissed off. I was just happy to see Cameron Grimes be able to rub elbows with uh, Devitt Prince. or the Prince. With, with the Prince. With the Prince. The right. Principe. That was a good one. So, are we gonna call the pops? On this epic, empty arena week of wrestling? <laughs> my pop of the week, yes. My pop of the week is when the inner circle was there and they got that fucking inner circle shit in the background. That moment was the pop Idiot. of the week. That's as close to a pop of the week as you're going to get. And I have another <laughs> one. I have another one. But I'll let y'all I'll let y'all have it. If y'all don't You'll let it, us miss it? it? All right. He, yeah, he wants yeah. to miss Go it. Ahead. Go ahead, Pretty Chubby. My pop of the week... I don't know. I have to give. I have to. I have to go out of the box here and go to Sammy Guevara's uh, YouTube channel and that tag team match that him and uh, Ricky Starks had with the broom and the mop. <laughs> that shit was. That shit was pretty funny. I gave that match a pop. That shit was interesting. They did a good job there. That's talent, baby. That's talent. That's <laughs> talent. That's talent. <laughs> that, they got their ass beat by a mop and a broom. <laughs> Yo, shout, out, shout out to Ricky Starks. <laughs> Old school, what you got? Scott Hall going off on <laughs> Seth Smith and Martina. You dumb it bitch! Pop, pop me. That's what popped you. I I have issues in life. I don't know. <laughs> My pop of the week was seeing MJF uh, scream to the top of his lungs the Chris Jericho theme as he came out. In his entrance, that shit was hilarious. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that shit was, was pretty funny. <laughs> JP, what you got? Week. My pop of the week was immediate. Scarlet. Scarlet coming out with Carrion Killer. Uh, Carrion Cross. Jesus. Carrion Killer. I thought Killer? she chopped the hair. Carrion. Yeah, that Cross. was a cool. That was a cool updo that she had. I, yo, yeah, I'm nice gonna be calling updo. him Killer Cross for the next two weeks until like I it think settles that's in. Fine. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I, I get oh. it fucked up. <laughs> or we just continue calling him that till they make that change. <laughs> yeah, right. Change it already, damn it. <laughs> Didn't he change it, though? Didn't he want to change it, apparently? That was a him it's thing? Really I guess. Yeah, really that was him. Though. That was like, him. He yo. chose He chose that name. Oh, he got yoked. He got yoked, though. Oh, he looked a lot bigger. Like That performance like, first, center, I'm... my guy! Whoa! Get your weight up, baby! Nice. You know, bro. French press is scarlet ass. That shit is... <laughs> Kudo, what was your pop of the week? Uh, if it's not Dexter Loomis sliding on, out from under the ring to oh. stop the Undisputed Era... Uh, it's especially if it looks like we're going into a feud by having him help someone. Uh, yeah, that, that's very yeah, interesting yeah. to me. So, yeah. But that's but also was, uh, like, right? Yeah. It's, it's also yeah. like psychological because it's like, I, I need to know how you work in order to defeat you. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> shit, I'm going to help you out for now. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to go on and ask any of y'all, do y'all have any chair shots this week? Mm. Are there any chair shots this week? Yeah, but... uh. The other pop of the oh, week word. was, to your point, Scarlet carrying cross, right? That entrance was a moment, right? Like, we talk about moments, right? That was a moment. Like, you, that, that cinematography was phenomenal. You're yeah. like, holy shit, this was like, a, this was a Broadway play. This is amazing. So that <laughs> shit was dope. Well, and I, I forgot report. she had pipes. Yeah. Robin? I forgot that Scarlet had pipes. Like, I remember her back in the day as a hoopla hottie. Uh, singing, singing at the top of her lungs, and like this is the first time since that. that she really sang thing. that. That was that true. I, it certainly sounded like her, and I, I know she does have the chops for it. Okay. Chops. Oh, we'll go, go figure. The chops. Chops. Right. Chops. She got Gentlemen, some chops. Cheer shot. We got a Choppy. few minutes Choppy. left, man. I think we got a pay per view this weekend, man. Um, you guys want to talk about it? Yeah, I want to run it down real quick. We Kuda also have Mother's. We have, we have Mother's Day on Sunday. That's oh, what we're yo, that's this guy's favorite holiday. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shout out to all the sexy mommies out there. Pretty Look chubby gonna be. Is this where you go back, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody Kuda down the quarantine and chill? Quarantine hey, and boy. chill. <laughs> yo, he ain't got his vaccines, yo. We can watch. Shot. We could watch Telemundo, we could watch Univision, we could watch Sábado Gigante reruns. What's up? I'm here for you. <laughs> Shout out to Sábado Gigante and the reruns, man. Uh, Kuda, how are we feeling about Money in the Bank, man? I am very curious about the main event, just like everybody else. Uh, yeah. Just brawling through. The, but more so than that, they're at the same time. Right. So, okay. Yeah. I, somebody said that mischief, right? Was that you? Oh no, yeah. That, that, that's been <laughs> like that's uh, it's at the same time. So simultaneously. Both? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They what start at the girl, I guess they start in the motherfucking parking lot or in the lobby, and they're like goop. So what and happens? It's like the greatest when... race, WWE <laughs> style. <laughs> so what yeah, which, happens when when which the like, at the same time? What happens like when the heel money in the bank? <laughs> that goes long. My guy? I'm I'm expecting somebody to grab both both briefcases. Piece of shit. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, ooh Santino Morella. <laughs> yeah, no, that they no, they can't do that. They didn't go over well when Ellsworth <laughs> won the women's. Yeah. Right. It didn't go over well. So I, I don't know. Nah. Kuda, nah. who are your heavy favorites going into this ladder match, man? Who do you want to see at least win pick up this briefcase and run with it? Well, my original pick for Money in the Bank got pulled out because of injury. Is I wanted to see Apollo Crews just get the rocket ship, as weird as yeah, that. Yeah, I wanted to see um, him do something too, man. But for some reason, I have a feeling it's going to be King Corbin on the men's side. Uh, I think he kind of gets redemption, gets another shot. Why not? And as far as the women, I'd like it to be Asuka. But it looks like it'll probably be Shayna. They seem to be gearing Shayna up for something pretty serious. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Shayna, right. man. I like Shayna. Definitely like, I will definitely like uh, Corbin here, too. Mischief, how Corbin you feel about it, though? El Rey? What happened, JP? Corbin already won it, though. I give yeah, it to Alistair Black. Yeah. Alistair <laughs> Black. So did Edge. And hey. Punk. Edge won it. A Alice few, the Black. Uh, one too many times, I think. Listen, AJ Styles is in the match, right? I mean, yeah. hello. I think that's the favorite. No, he just got I, buried in a boneyard match. AJ Styles is the guy. I kind of something about it. He's not the guy because Taker's going to come out. 
You think so? Continue to bury him again? <laughs> what? Why? Because he's not. He's picking does, up his uh, shit because it's a big deposit. Does Undertaker he's come he's out? He's staring at all of us. Take her. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yo, my oh, bad. Yo, I'm out. I'm out. There you oh, go right shit. there. Like I buried you. <laughs> Something about I it. See I see like, you, Taker. I like. I want to see AJ have that <laughs> that briefcase for the year, but why not give it to a new person or use somebody? You know why? AJ don't need that briefcase. AJ don't need it. Um, Even though he lost his uh, crew. Right, yeah. right. He loses his crew. That's gonna be tough. Talk to us about the fiend and Br- and Braun Strowman, pretty chubby. Um, I think it's too soon. The buildup is, it's, I, I feel like I'm not invested in this feud. It's kind right. of nowhere. I feel like it's too soon, too quick put together. Like, let's just do it just cause like, I'm not All interested. Puda, right. tell me this. How about if, how about if since, um, really Goldberg, they, they took the strap off the fiend cause of Goldberg, man. And that didn't go off too well. That, that, that's done. We're done. We're past that now. Right. <laughs> Maybe maybe it's time to put the strap back on the fiend, make amends. Well, see, here's the thing. So far in the feud, we haven't seen the fiend. It's just been Bray Wyatt, and th- that duality in character is very important. So, if it's just gonna be Bray in a sweater, then you're right. I'm, I'm not gonna pick him to go over. But if it does end up being The Fiend, that's a different story. So I, I think that kind of might be the idea. We might not see The Fiend at all throughout this. I did not think of that. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Wow. That's true. Mm. Terrible. Terrible. Is the Fiend quarantine? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> this, terrible. This was terrible writing because they booked themselves into a corner yeah. with Braun. Like, now do you have Braun lose the fucking strap? He just got it. He's a young guy. He's kind of an asshole. Like, you know, his social media game is kind of whack. He talks mad shit. Roman had to humble him on IG. Uh, do you want him to be your guy? You I don't think that are... universal title, that blue title, is that guy. I think the black title is the guy. Whoever carries that black title is 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 the guy. I don't think they're taking that blue title any any seriously anymore, man. It's a Fox title. Yo, but it's, <laughs> right? the fo- but, but it's the Fox title. That's that's your biggest contract. You better pay attention to that title, mm-hmm. bitch. Like, that's yeah. where the money's coming. So. And that's like why they put title. Braun Strowman there. Big, strong guy. He's good. That'll catch your good attention. Good shit. Good shit. Right? Uh, good shit. I uh, don't know. But, but now, like, all right, so The Fiend loses. Like, it's got to be Cardigan so, Dan, right? It can't be fucking The Fiend. But, but is, the, is it a Firefly Funhouse match, or is it just a regular match? I think it's just a regular match, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I I think it'll be similar to what Bray did with The Miz. And then if he loses as Bray, it's no big deal. Yeah. That's gotcha. the problem. Yes. Like that. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm. gotcha. gotcha. Um, Bailey and Tamina for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Fuck it. You said she smacked that. Nobody's Fuck. meaner than Tamina. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Coda shirt. Yeah. Coda. Who yeah. you got in this match? Believe it or not, I, I have I have uh, I have a new champion coming out of this one. Believe it or not. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow, ah! oh, okay. Is dead. So I mean. At this point, this is the best she's looked ever. It looks like she's finally committed to being somewhat full-time. Bailey needs a little bit of a revamp. And just get her and Sasha away from each other. I know they're friends. I know it works, but just they can (laughs) both work solo. Let them work solo. You don't have to keep next to each other all the time. And And they can make money against each other, too. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. Yes. Anybody remember Brooklyn? Like, I think they may, I think that's think the only they reason they're still around because we all do. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they've forgotten about that a little bit. They don't want to reenact, re, re, recreate that moment. Um, right off the top of the dome, guys. When you, I scream, when I say money in the bank to you, what comes to mind? What's your favorite money in the bank moment or match or cash in, perhaps? Kuda, take us off, start us off real quick. I I gotta say Ziggler's Ziggler's cash in. Just oh, of course. wildest yeah. crowd. All the Europeans were there for the night after Mania. They were all. We about, were there. Hello, so. Jersey. All right, y'all. Y'all were there. There you go. So, yeah, man, it was. Uh, it, it, it was. <laughs> it was very well executed as well. So, 
you know, plus anytime Del Rio takes a loss, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> JP, <laughs> JP, I know you shit. Yeah, man. fuck him. Try to, try to yo, give you a new one, though. Yo, I have an even better game for you, a better question, right? Money in the Bank is a very unique match, one that we all enjoy the WrestleManias, enjoy so much. It's, it's become its own pay-per-view for the last 10-some-odd years, right? Which who is, is one wrestler from the Golden Era who never got to per- participate in a Money in the Bank match? Who would be the golden era wrestler you would choose to go into a Money in the Bank match to win it? To win it. To golden win it. Era. I'm going to start off. I'm going to let Kuda start. my guy. Okay. Oh, I was going to tell you my guy. I'm going to go with the best there was, the best hey. there is, the best ever will be. Bret Hart. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. I <laughs> definitely <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> no, 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 not nice even things. one no, nice no, thing one about nice that. Thing. No nice things. Not Kuda, one. Who you got from the '90s or the Golden Era? Uh, well, if you want to talk Golden Era, I would say Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, yeah. he was Macho okay. Just okay. It, it's more the entrance. You hear that theme when somebody's laying there beat up. I mean, that's that's a pop moment right there. You know what? Kuda, you're absolutely right. Macho Man is a great, great, great suggestion here, but his dance partner at WrestleMania 3, Ricky Steamboat, Ooh. is the guy that I would say I'd love to see in this match. Bro, the way he moved was, like, ripe for it. I, I, I think as soon as you said that he's the first name that popped in my head, I was like, oh, Steamboat would be fucking amazing in this situation. Old school. I'm intrigued. Hit me with something. Well, so Money in the Bank. Not Arn Anderson. Well, we can't because he was NWA, right? <laughs> no, he would be really <laughs> shitty in a fucking Money in the Bank. I'm just saying. I, I, would, I would just want to see him spine buster someone from the top of the ladder <laughs> if that could happen. <laughs> he, he, he'd but, climb up, how? he'd climb up with somebody, and then when he gets to the top, he put him in a sleeper. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Listen, you leave him in a single lab alone, all right? He was all upper body, all upper body. Uh, all oh, upper body, wow. But, uh, but like when, when you talk about cash-ins, you're talking about someone who's being very opportunistic, right? So yes. when you go to the golden era, there was one name when I think of someone who's an opportunist, and, and I'm going to go with Jake the Snake. Trust me. Ooh. Okay. I didn't even I, think about the, the having the briefcase part. I was just thinking about having the... <laughs> The, the match. match, yeah. Oh no, yeah. I, I mentioned it has to be who to win it to win it. You need somebody that has some ring psychology behind it. You know what I mean? You don't need a high flyer. No, no, you don't no, need a high no. flyer. You need somebody's gonna be opportunistic. No, no. But I, I would have said Ric Flair, but Ric Flair was in one. So maybe a Piper. Ooh. Damn it! It's, oh, not it's a turn. Good. That was my turn. Oh, shit. I thought everybody went. I thought everybody it's my went. Turn. Piper. Fuck you, Piper. <laughs> you don't know, you know make a killer uh, Money in the Bank participant, Jimmy Snooker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not as killer as. Let me stop. No, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> but, but I'll raise you a Scott Hall. I mean, Scott Hall Yo, and uh, Money in the I Bank was, would be was, pretty dope, I was, actually. I was yeah. going to say Scott or, or Piper, but I feel yeah. Piper has the villain in him. To just win at all costs, mm. and then the cashing. Oh, forget about it. The cashing's gonna be brutal. Cashing's gonna be who violent and messy. I would and me, I would pick Owen Hart. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be Owen fun. Hart. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Heel, well uh, heel Owen Hart. Well deserved too. Well, here, here, here's one when it comes to cashings. How about Psycho Sid? <laughs> oh, watch the leg. His watch the leg ass. though. Watch the leg. <laughs> yeah, watch that watch that right leg. Oh gosh. That is a fact. Kuda, I want to thank you for coming on the show tonight with us, man, and spending time. You're always welcome here, brother. We glad to be on your show anytime you have us, man. Anything you want to plug, man, get out get out there for the people to catch you Tell them when you when to when to watch the show and all that. Well, uh, unfortunately I cannot do uh, my my YouTube shows because I can't go in studio at this point, but you can listen Every Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern on CBS 1300 AM in Baltimore. I'll tweet a link. I'll keep you guys in the loop about it. So next Monday will definitely be the review of Money in the Bank and who is holding which respective briefcase. 
No doubt, no doubt. All right, and with that said, that's all the damn time we have for you folks this week. We don't give a damn where you got your fix from because you know you got it from any and everywhere we at, any goddamn platform that's out there. Pretty Chubby, tell them what we're going to do, on what they're going to do for us on iTunes. Check us out at Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots on all streaming platforms. HPC Too Sweet on IG, on Twitter, and Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots on YouTube. And don't forget to rate and review and hit do that what? subscribe button. Rate and review. Hit review it, and it. rate. Yeah, tu sabe. Ten count till ten toe. Peace. Holla.